Zero Hedge ran a story that most people will never see or really understand. Zero Hedge reported that the Russians have sold off half their U.S. Treasury bonds over the past year. China has been dumping their dollar holdings too, but still have over a trillion dollars left. Other foreigners have been dumping their dollars too. The current U.S. inflation rate is 12%. Ben Bernanke has been creating trillions of dollars to bail out banks in Europe to buy worthless securities from U.S. banks and to fund the U.S. debt. That will accelerate inflation. Inflation will go from 12% to 15% and then 20% in less than a year. The media will no longer be able to repeat the lie that the inflation rate is only 3.5%. Inflation will become an issue in the 2012 races for Congress, Senate and the Presidency. Accelerating inflation will force people overseas to dump any dollars they receive for selling American food, clothes, electronics, cars, oil and other raw materials as soon as the transaction is completed. This phenomenon is called an increase in the velocity of money. It is a sign your economy is transitioning from an inconveniently high rate of inflation to hyperinflation. The US dollar is an international reserve currency which means that if France wants to buy food from Brazil, they will likely have to use the US dollar to make that transaction. In colonial America, the colonists had to earn British pounds or gold to buy something from overseas. Michael Hudson in his book Super Imperialism described how the US was funding its wars by inflating the supply of currency used to settle trade. Since World War II, we have been getting real goods like cars and clothes from foreigners in exchange for increasingly worthless paper. When Hudson explained this to the Pentagon, a general said, wow, we are ripping people off. I would define hyperinflation as beginning at around 25% for an international reserve currency like the dollar. That is why when inflation surged in the latter part of the Carter presidency in 1979 to 80, Chairman of the Federal Reserve Paul Volcker raised interest rates. Home mortgages went to 15.5%. Ben Bernanke cannot raise interest rates today. His only option would be to devalue the dollar, which is what he said he would do in the now infamous speech he made in Washington DC on the 21st of the 11th, 2002. That means, after the 2012 elections, the Russians, the Chinese, Iran, Venezuela, plus their client states and a few other nations can and will force a devaluation of the dollar by refusing to accept Federal Reserve notes in international trade. If Americans balk, China just has to dump a hundred billion dollars and buy commodities, driving the price of food out of the reach of Walmart shoppers. Of course, I realize the Chinese will be doing just what the bankers want them to do. An international conference will be held at which the dollar will be devalued by about 40% as predicted by Bernanke. This will complete that 50% pay cut I've been predicting. The Chinese will have dumped most of their dollars before the conference so that their economy will not be harmed by a dollar devaluation. If Americans can't afford to buy Chinese products, China will just sell them to people whose currencies were revalued upwards. I would suggest you buy storable food, silver coins, not collectibles, and household items that will just increase in cost. Of course, this was all planned long ago by the bankers. I will conclude with this quote from a previous essay. The fundamental fact of your existence as a modern man or woman is that the bankers of New York and London want to reduce you to debt slavery. Accept that fact and move on to the solution. That is their plan for you. What is your plan for them?